What is going on guys? Chaboy D1 Snipes here. Today what we're looking at is the new uh, Crota's in Raid. Uh, what you're going to be watching here is uh, Traversing the Abyss. Uh, this took us, uh, didn't actually take us that long to figure out how to get through it. But uh, definitely the best way to get through it is something a little different than what we actually did. Um, we first started uh, trying to go through it uh, really slow. Uh, we ended up failing at the end even though we got through most of the part. Um, let's let's talk about the mechanics and then we'll talk about the best way to go about uh, doing this part of the raid. So the mechanics of this part is um, you start off, as you can see on the left side of my screen, uh, the weight of darkness. Um, when this gets around 7 or 8, uh, you lose the ability to sprint. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to uh, jump right here, trying to boost jump my way closer. But uh, you are stuck at a crawl unless you get near those uh, lights. Now, I get I die early on right here. Uh, it's not very good for the video, but you see these pillars that I just passed by. Um, those will uh, lower the weight of darkness. So if you stand near them, uh, your whole team, uh, the weight of the darkness will leave you. Uh, not your whole team, you have to be near them, so it's an area of effect. Uh, it will go down uh, rather quickly, and then that allows you to sprint to the next one. Now these pillars are normally uh, lit up white, or like a bright light. Um, you can see uh, the other three are waiting on us. Uh, to get to the next one and you can see that uh, we kinda get there late I don't even know if they wait on us now that I think about it but the ideal way to go about doing this is to uh, get very very close with your team now this is sort of hard because uh, the hive really aren't the issue it's the uh, it's the exploding ones the one like the ones that are blue and glowing that when you shoot they blow up uh, that's what's really difficult about this part, and that's how I died in the beginning. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but as you can see, uh, the team waited on us. That's what they look like when they're lit up. Now, those pillars, you can only be around them for a certain amount of time. Now, you see the area of effect. It's taking the weight of darkness off of us, but uh, it will start to turn red and then it will blow up and if you are near it uh, it will kill you so you need to move quickly and time it right to where it takes a lot of the weight off and so now you're sprinting as a team from one of these pillars of light to the next now uh, the pattern can get kind of confusing as uh, as you can see you get turned around a lot uh, shooting enemies and I feel like this is a very this is a very cool part of the raid because it requires your whole team to be on the same page you guys have to be communicating uh, those holes that you're seeing that I just jumped over uh, if you fall down there, down there uh, you will die so the best way to go about doing this whole thing is to stay super super tight with your team uh, call out those blue guys and ki kill those early and then sprint uh, from these lights uh, from just from light to light uh, decreasing that weight of darkness uh, so that you guys can sprint and get to the next one faster um, I might do a more advanced video on the pattern of these lights and uh, like the directions maybe make like a little map of how to get through it the, like effectively so uh, so you guys can see just how many lights there are uh, I'm sure we'll do this again later today uh, because we did not finish Crota we got to him so I have the three main parts before Crota and the best ways to beat those and then uh, later on tonight I'll have how to beat Crota because I think we've got it figured out but <clears throat> like I said, you want to call out those blue guys right there, the ones that explode. Uh, you 
you want to keep all of your teammates up. I know it's kind of tempting to uh, let them die, especially if they're further back. But it's always better to pick them up because, as you will see at the very end of this part up here, uh, it gets kind of crazy and kind of hectic. Uh, so you want to stay close together and you want to try to keep the weight of darkness uh, off of you as little as possible. You, know, you see the pillar right here gets yellow. I try to take some off right before it explodes and it does right behind me. And I don't get very far. So I think the, uh, the weight of darkness takes your sprint off at about 8. So just be wary of that. Uh, keep shooting. Uh, don't let the thralls kind of like engulf you because we, the first time we did it, we moved super slow. And the second time we did it, we just tried to run through it. And it didn't really work out just running through it because enough thralls kind of get around you. And then uh, it, it gets hard to move. It gets hard to jump. So you have to really rely on your teammates. Uh, you have, this, this raid more than any other is all about trust. And... You guys will see on the second part of this video uh, just how much that you have to really trust your teammates and their ability to do everything in the raid. So you see us get to the last light right here. Um, we take the light down and uh, you need to stand on this platform to create a bridge that goes across uh, to end this part of the raid to get your first reward. So. What happens is the stuff really, really gets crazy right here. Uh, knights start spawning. Uh, an ogre starts spawning. And all of these are level 30 and 31, I believe. And they're, they're super tough to kill. Even at level 30, they're, they take a lot more shots than you would think to kill them. So uh, be wary of that. And we all had upgraded uh, VOCs, Vision of Confluence. Uh, had upgraded Heisen's Vengeance, Galahorns. And we were still having trouble uh, killing stuff. So this just goes to show you uh, how much the light level uh, really comes into effect later on. Uh, I die here. We have a couple guys die. And they end up trying to shoot and trying to revive us back but I cut that part out and I wanted to show you the very end of this mission and where you need to go uh, but all you need to do is hold this plate until the bridge uh, creates and the best strategy we found was to throw down a defender so the bullets won't hit you and as soon as that bridge uh, is formed only one of you need to make it to that light in the background that you see and you'll see that in just a minute that uh, that's that's how you beat it is I hear it is anyway bridge, it's like a bright light, light all squiggly thank so you guys so much for watching uh, no part two of the raid will be up here in just a little bit and I hope you guys are there watching I'll catch you guys on the next one